Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, you can call me Anu. So I'm joining the University of Exeter for this September intake. I'll be doing a master's in publishing. So I'm basically making this video to mainly discuss my journey from India to UK. So I'm going to give you all the details. I can't really say I have vlogged, but I do have a lot of clippings about like from my travel. So I'm just going to insert all the clippings as I talk to you about my journey. So you might already know this because I've discussed this in the previous video. I had booked an Emirates flight. So before I talk about my flight, I just wanted to let you all know that if you guys have a new card, okay, first of all, you need to be from India. Okay, look at the sunlight. Look at the sunlight. Uh, if you guys are from India, then you can get a new card. I had ordered a new card for myself. It works pretty well in UK. It's a Forex card. So it works pretty well in the UK and uh, you have free access to international lounges. I mean, international lounges in India, if that makes sense. So um, over there, you just have like free food and like a really nice, comfortable place to sit until your flight. So it's definitely a good option. Just to let you know, they charge like two rupees, which is just nothing. So you just have to swipe your card and just that's all. That's all you need to do. But if you're traveling with your family, just letting you know that you can use only one card per person so if you have your family traveling with you it's not going to work unless you have like one card for each family member okay but you can still access the lounges uh you just have to pay an extra amount i think it was two thousand rupees if i'm not wrong but yeah you have to pay that amount but with neo card it's free so i used i availed that facility and yeah it was pretty good the phone was really good <laughs> Okay, so now talking about the flight, uh, I'm going to be very honest, the Emirates flight wasn't as good as I had expected. I mean, I expected better from them. Uh, it just it just wasn't that great, especially the first flight. The service was pretty bad. It's so sunny right now. I'm literally sitting in front of the window because I need the light for the video, but it just keeps getting cloudy and sunny and cloudy and sunny it's just it's really hot in Exeter by the way um anyway coming back to the point I would not recommend Emirates just the overall experience wasn't great there were a lot of in-flight entertainment facilities they did have like, lots of music lots of options there were lots of movies of different languages it was pretty cool <laughs> was so tiring that i mean i did not end up watching anything okay, so now talking about when i actually landed in london uh you might have a lot of questions about immigration customs and stuff like that so uh there's nothing to worry about immigration to be honest because uh there are a lot of people who might tell you that they ask really like messed up questions it's not true because the person who was asking me questions he was very friendly questions that i was asked were literally what's the name of my course and what's the duration of my course that's it literally that's it it depends on what part of the day it is because my flight landed really early in the morning and the line was pretty short it, the entire immigration process took only 30 minutes. And when I say 30 minutes, it's just 30 minutes of me standing in the line. The actual questioning and checking, it was just like a matter of four or five minutes, literally. So he wanted to check my passport, my gas letter and the document that comes along with the visa vignette. Yeah, so he just wanted to check these three things. That's it. So uh, the immigration process was pretty smooth and very short but it took a long time to collect baggage the bags oh my god I, we waited for one and a half hours just to collect our bags the area the, the place where you collect your bags it was a mess like there were a lot of bags 
on the conveyor belt but there were also a lot of bags just dumped on the floor bag collection situation at Heathrow was a mess anyway after two and a half hours we managed to collect our bags then was the time to travel from London to Exeter what a lot of people do is they stay in London for maybe a day or two and then travel to Exeter since our flight had arrived in the morning we decided to just directly go to Exeter because we had a lot of time the bus we we had booked a bus by the way so the bus from London to Exeter takes about like three and a half hours so and it's a direct bus so it's it's really convenient and the bus station is right at the airport so you don't really travel anywhere else like you would have to do if you take a train <laughs> Getting a bus to Exeter or like any other city that you're planning to study in, that's like the easiest thing. There are lots of options for buses. There's National Express, there's Mega Bus, and these are the ones that I know, but I'm sure there are other options as well. So I had booked a National Express bus and uh, it was it was not too expensive can't remember the exact price because i had booked it a month ago so anyway it wasn't too expensive i can't give you the exact price but it was around 20 pounds maybe we had taken an extra baggage oh also talking about extra baggage don't pay directly for extra baggage because literally they don't check i paid separately while booking for like one extra bag they don't even check i mean it was you'd rather not pay right so if they happen to check you can just pay on the spot and also i don't know about other bus services but if you're booking through national express do not pay for the fixed seat basically there's an option where you Okay, to pay extra and select the seat that you want to be in do not choose that option because i mean first of all it's expensive and second there is no such thing as reserved seats basically we did not use that option thank god i just assumed that if i don't choose that option they would tell me where to sit because the bus was full it actually was but they just told me i could sit anywhere i like and that's what everybody else did so basically you just sit anywhere, any seat that you find empty. So there's literally no point of booking a seat for yourself. I mean, booking a specific seat for yourself. So just, just don't waste your money on that. Uh, so yeah, that is an important tip to remember. Other than that, would I recommend National Express? Yeah, the bus was comfortable. The journey was great. It wasn't too expensive. If you're traveling in train, it's going to be a lot more expensive. More than that, you are not allowed to carry too many luggage in trains. Also, you don't have a direct train from the airport. So it, it's just very inconvenient. Like from the airport, you go to a train station and it's just it's a long process so if you want to if you're tired and it's just your first day and you don't want to do a lot of like exploring and stuff just reach the airport go to the bus station which is at the airport board the bus and you will reach your destination i don't know about other places but if you're traveling to exeter through a bus you would reach the city center now if your accommodation is at the city center it really helps you can just just walk to your accommodation but my accommodation is a little bit away from the city center so the best option was to get a cab uh, at Exeter, there's this facility called Apple Taxi. You can just call them. They take a little time to arrive. Like, I mean, not a little, but a lot. They take around an hour to arrive if they're really busy. So just book the cab in advance. That should help. Um, other than that, yeah, the cab isn't too expensive. It takes around like uh, 7 to 10 pounds. Uh, that that's what it was for me. I ta I'd taken the cab twice. First it was seven. The other time it was like ten. If you're like traveling to some other city in the UK, you'll still like have like I'm not sure if you'll have the Apple Taxi facility available. You might have like a different facility. I'm not really sure about that. So yeah, that was my journey. All the fifteen hours in brief. That's what happened. And um, Exeter is so pretty.
and my accommodation the view from my room uh it's amazing and i think i have one of the best views in the room because all of my flatmates have rooms facing the other way which is towards the road so there's just literally no view there but i literally see like hills over here it's really pretty and i have like direct sunlight in my room which is going to be great during winters i'm pretty sure so yeah it's amazing i will upload more videos soon about my accommodation the exit of city and you know stuff like that if there's anything specific that you want to watch you can just let me know that so that was pretty much everything that i wanted to discuss in this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys very soon goodbye